Our first day is finally here. I hope you and the girls had a nice night and you're ready to become Miss Sayers. Boys, what about boys? <laughs> I love everything about you and can't wait to see you sparkle down the aisle. Oh. <laughs> and don't stress and embrace everything that happens. I love you, see you soon. Oh, I'm going to be so horrible. Why are you going to be horrible? Because I can't stop crying. <laughs> Years of being the best years of my life, building a house, going first trip overseas, getting engaged in the Australia selection, and now marrying you. I couldn't ask for a much better life. I cannot wait to see you and your smile at the end of the aisle. Yeah, yeah. I love you, Chad. My girl's soon to be wife.
Can I take it to a moment Where the fields are painted gold And the trees are filled with memories Of the feelings never told Love is realising that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. Thank you, Laurie. Taking into account that great love and 
great achievements involve great risk and that a loving atmosphere in your home is a foundation for your life. Be gentle with the earth and be gentle with one another. When disagreements come, remember always to protect the spirit of your union. When you realise you've made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your needs for each other. So love yourselves, love one another, love all that is your life together and all those will follow. Thank you, Stephen. Steph and Chad, before you're joined in marriage in my presence and in the presence of everyone here, I'm to remind you of the formal and permanent promise of the relationship you're now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia is the union of a man and woman to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Steph and Chad, please join hands as you prepare to make these vows of love to one another. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher, for you have learned much from one another. Now you say a few words that take you across a threshold of life, and things will never be quite the same again. For after these symbolic vows, you'll say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Steph, will you take Chad to be your husband and travel the rest of life's road with him? Will you love him, laugh with him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Steph, please repeat yeah. after me. I call upon the persons here. To witness. To witness. Michelle Bound. That I, Stephanie and Michelle Bound. Take you, Chad, James, Sayers. Take you, Jane, Chad, James, Sayers. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Yeah. yeah. I will love you and honour you. I will love you and honour you. Respect you. Respect you. Encourage you and cherish you. Encourage you and cherish you. Quick tissue break. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. Right. In health and in sickness. In health and in sickness. Through sorrow and success. Through sorrow and success. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Okay. <laughs> Chad. Will you take Steph to be your wife and travel the rest of life's road with her? Will you love her, laugh with her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Chad, please repeat after me. I call upon the persons here to witness that I, Chad Jane Sayers, Take you, Stephanie Michelle Bound, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I will love you and honour you, respect you, encourage you and cherish you in health and in sickness, through sorrow and success, for all the days of my life. Steph and Chad will now exchange their wedding rings. The rings have been in the safe hands of Aaron Sayers. I don't know why they're laughing. Thank you. Steph, please take oh. Chad's hand, place the ring on his yeah. finger and repeat after me. 
today. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. <laughs> yeah, of the yeah. vows we have spoken today. Chad, please take Steph's hand, place the ring on her finger and repeat after me. <laughs> what a shite. Hold on. Hold on. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter, and my arms be your home. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder but of the vows we have spoken today. Steph and Chad, let these rings serve as a reminder of the feelings you have in your hearts at this very moment. There are times in life that we tend to focus on the things we have not yet accomplished. There will also be times of great loss. Yet, as you look at your wedding band, remember the great gift that you have been given and all that you have in one another. Remember that you have someone to share this life with. Never again we walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> Steph and Chad, with the power vested in me by the laws of Australia, I now have pleasure in declaring you husband and wife. You may now be a stunning bride. I was only walking through your neighborhood, saw you out on honey in the cold. I stood anywhere I go, there you are. Anywhere I go, there you are. I've been getting used to waking up with you I've been getting used to waking up here Anywhere I go, there you are Anywhere I go, there you are There you are, there you are mm. You're the fire and the flood and I always feel you in my blood Everything is fine
I've got to say a few, I suppose, positive words about my son. Um, I'm very proud to, uh, uh, for him to get married today. I, yeah, well done, son. Um, he's certainly grown into a fine young man, and uh, well, he's learnt many skills along the way, some from working, uh, some from sport, um, general life, and hopefully, importantly, from his parents. Hopefully we've, we've taught him a, a fair bit along the way and um, he's become the best person he can and I think he's a pretty good person. So Steph, you, you're taking on a pretty good bloke I think. Um, as a parent you always hope children make the right decision in choosing the partner they'll spend the rest of their life with and uh, I think Ted's landed a pretty good one. He, he, he caught pretty well even though you got those small little hands Ted. Mittens, mittens, is that what they call you? There you go. Mittens and uh, I just hope your feet aren't the same, son. You know what they say about small feet? Small socks, small shoes, you did set right. Um, my memory uh, suggests about a week ago, I asked. I think they met about eight years ago, eight years ago, at the Ramsgate Hotel. And uh, after a short period of time, I think uh, both my wife and myself could tell uh, he'd, he'd got a pretty good woman. And uh, hopefully, possibly, they'd be together for a long time. After, after their first encounter, uh, Chad thought he'd go and do the romantic thing and he uh, friended Steph on Facebook um, before eventually taking her on their first date to Hunger Jacks. <laughs> now, according to Chad, um, it was love at first sight, but after he finished his whopper, he turned his attention to Steph. Um, and soon, soon their joint love for a flame-grilled burger um, would soon blossom into their love for one another. And as their relationship has progressed, so has their choice of date venue. It's KFC now, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Um, in all seriousness, over the past eight years, I've got to know Steph uh, very well. Um, she's become a good friend of mine and a valued member of the Sayers family. Um, she's hardworking, polite, considerate, and she's obviously patient and tolerant to put up with this one. Um, they say true love is not finding someone you can live with, but finding someone you can't live without. I think this is definitely the case with these two. Um, I've known Chad with Steph, and I've known him without Steph, and it's clear that she brings out the best in him. Um, you guys are, are truly two peas in a pod, and I'm so, so proud to see my little bro uh, marry the girl of his dreams, and I'm equally as proud to be able to call Steph my little sister. Um, yeah, thanks. Now, 
Uh, Chad, being a married man myself, um, I do feel well versed to give you guys some advice on the subject and to make it easy for a simpleton like yourself. Um, I thought I'd compare it to cricket for you. So you need to be fully committed each week and make sure you score every weekend. Um, <laughs> take time to assess the condition of the pitch before you attempt any risky moves. <laughs> Make sure you change ends after every over and don't get caught behind. <laughs> Steph also assures me that playing away from home will result in a serious groin injury <laughs> and is definitely the quickest way to get dropped to the twos. I don't have a bad word to say about you, Chad. You're a great mate and a fantastic uncle and godparent to my kids. I couldn't be happier for Steph and to welcome you to the Bounds officially. The two of you work perfect, perfectly together. You both have a vision in life and a passion for sport and health. The willpower and dedication you put into succeed is something that inspires many of us. Together you are unstoppable and now married you will face new and exciting challenges together and I look forward to being part of that journey. Well actually more so, being an auntie. So Chad, I want to thank you for loving my little sister like you do, for supporting her, protecting her, making her laugh and wiping away her tears. You are her greatest supporter, her, con her constant, her one true love. With that being said, could you please raise your glasses and give another toast to the new Mr and Mrs Sayers. Thank you. Yeah, I'd just like to start, start off by saying thank you to um, all our great family and friends for sharing this special day with us and making it some, such a memorable day. Uh, I guess over the past few months I've had some memorable moments, um, but seeing Steph walk down the aisle today, that has uh, topped them by a mile. So Steph, you look absolutely stunning. Uh, to, to Don and his catering staff, um, the food has been outstanding as um, I've gone around the room tonight and everyone's commented on it, so thank you. Um, to Teresa, your flowers, and Bruno. You take charge, don't you, Bruno? So, um, yeah, your flower set up and uh, tables, table arrangements are absolutely outstanding. It makes this marquee look so good, so thank you very much. Tommy Wren, wherever he's gone, is he still, uh, he's still sitting there? He's not on his booster seat though, so you can't see him, but... Uh, and, and, and for Chuck for um, putting the, uh, the green vest on, thank you very much for all your time and efforts tonight. Um, and to, uh, I think Chris is gone, but the acoustic bloke that was here before, he did an out outstanding job today. He's uh, got an amazing voice. And uh, Matthew, thank you. Don't stop playing the music till we leave, please. But, um, and to Sarah and Emily, we can't wait to uh, see how you've captured our day. I'm sure it'll be amazing as well. So thank you. And I think Dino mentioned it before, but to everyone who has travelled into state uh, to be with us today, we thank you for making the effort. Um, Rhonda and Alan, uh, we are so happy that you got to witness our wedding. And we have, uh, and always will um, keep memories of Percy and Margaret in our hearts. So, thank you. Uh, now to Trish and Dave. Finally, I get to call you mum and dad. <laughs> Although Bound has claimed me as his son um, ever since he found out I was half decent at playing cricket. So, <laughs> from day one, I always felt welcome into the Bound household, and uh, loved how much interest I've shown in my sport. Much to Steph's disgust, because um, Dave still and doesn't go watch Steph play netball, so <laughs> every chance he gets, he comes down and watches me play, so. Don't you? <laughs> um, your values as uh, family and parents, hard work and loyalty, uh, really showing Steph and the way you have set up your business. Um, I've definitely learned a lot from um, the both of you. Steph and I couldn't thank you enough for the support you have given us throughout the past eight years uh, and especially for our special day, Bound. 
this tent looks awesome, mate, and all your hard work and running around over the past three days. Um, yeah, this doesn't do that justice, so thank you very much. It, should, it does do a dash, sorry. <laughs> but. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, it, they've, um, they've obviously helped me um, from day one. They helped us with our first home. They've gave me my first real job. Um, or well, they have Steph every time I go away because she doesn't like staying at home. So she goes and ships in with them, which Trish doesn't like very much, but she puts up with her. Um, yeah, and apart from um, needing earmuffs at the dinner table sometimes, if you haven't met Dave or Steph, or you've met Steph, but if you haven't met Dave, um, if they're having a conversation, you can generally hear it in the next suburb, so <laughs> eating dinner with them um, generally gets pretty heated and loud, so earmuffs are definitely needed. And um, or having to check if my, uh, if my chicken's been cooked properly, Trish. One night Trish cooked me schnitzels and, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cut into it and went to bite it, but it was still a bit jelly and cold, so... <laughs> no, but Trisha's cooking's improved a hell of a lot since... <laughs> but other than that, I'm really delighted to be a part of your family. And I promise to look after your beautiful daughter uh, for the rest of our lives together. And hopefully produce a couple of more beautiful grandchildren for you. So, thank you. Uh, to mum and dad, Dean and Joe, you've been the best parents anyone could have asked for. Caring, passionate, loyal, and always thinking of what's best for their boys. My number one fans, always there to take me to trainings as a youngster. Make sure my lunch was always packed, it still does that. Um, and first put their hands up to help on a Saturday. Although mum's text messages are cringeworthy most of the time, I still love you very much. Thank you for welcoming me, Steph, into our family so easily. Uh, she doesn't usually let her guard down very easy. But on this occasion, she found it a piece of cake. Um, the way I've been brought up is incredible the kind of people you are. And I couldn't have achieved what I've done today without you. So thank you. We also thank you for your ongoing support of our relationship always willing to do anything beyond measure for us. On to the wedding party. You're obviously some of our closest friends and uh, couldn't have asked of a be better bunch of people to spend out a special day with. Bridesmaids, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you for keeping Steph under wraps this morning. I know she would have been stressing out because I got a few text messages from her when it started spinning. <laughs> but as always, it, all, it turned out perfect and it's been an amazing day with you three, or you four, so thank you very much. Um, groomsmen, you know you blokes are looking good as well, so I think we scrubbed that pretty well. Aaron did look good in the toilet bowl this morning as well. If you, if <laughs> he's getting a bit old to uh, handle the youngsters, so... Hey? Yeah, I taught him. No, but we've had a great couple of days together and I thank you very much for all you've done for me over the past, or the, most of my life. So um, thank you for being a bunch of legends. <coughs> <coughs> now onto the stunning bride I can call the, finally call my wife, Mrs Sayers. Cut. I can't wait to start a family and spend the rest of my life with my wife, my best friend, and my everything. The past eight years have been the best eight years of my life. From the first time you started punching me at Westlakes, I'll give you a little story. <laughs> After I first met Steph at, um, at the Rams game, <laughs> me, Ferg, I can't remember who else, we only watched a movie at Westlakes, I reckon it was Tommy. and. Um, they probably don't remember, but as we were walking out, Steph came in in her Finn and High, pretty hot um, uniform, and we bumped into each other, and it's a little bit awkward at the start. 
Um, and she was a bit, a bit nervous, so she just started punching me in the arm. <laughs> That's what won my heart over. Uh, but, um, yeah, to our, from the first time you started punching me at West Lakes the, to our first kiss and to our kiss good nights, so I still get tingles in my spawn. You're an inspiration to me. The way you go about everyday life with your health makes every day with you one I cherish and it's a massive honour to become your husband. To me, you're perfect and I love you very much. Have a good night, everyone. Enjoy it. Um, I know we will. It's been a great day. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the dance floor. And I'm sure Dino's pants will be down later when the Eagle Rock's played. So. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Backbeat, the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out Sure, you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. And all the roads we have to walk are winding, and all the lights that lead us there are blind. This body is yours, this body 